you two are as close as can be Whether I'm trying to climb up a tree Or sitting down with you for tea We're dancing We're dancing Sometimes we go for a long stroll ride Or in the playground I can go down the slide It doesn't really matter the things that we do All that matters is just me and you we're dancing, we're dancing. My ballerina and me, we two are as close as can be. So thanks for stopping over to come and see. My ballerina, my ballerina, my ballerina and me. liked about coming here and you in particular is you're so nice oh, and you, you make you. the experience really pleasant so you're very kind. if you're coming for your first pair of point shoes or fitting or just to look around you should speak to Vanessa or any of the wonderful people here because they're just so nice and make it a pleasure it's a lot of fun just shopping but leave yourself enough time because there's a lot to see Thanks for Thank doing this so fashion much. show of we can't wait. I'm very excited we'll see you on the runway definitely <laughs> To the adventures of my ballerina and me. I'm privileged to be here today with Victoria Lebedeva and she was soloist with the Kirov Ballet and I'd like to just uh, interview her and hear some more about her story and her beautiful school here at Victoria Ballet Theatre in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Um, Victoria, when did you start ballet? I started ballet actually non-professionally in uh, some uh, like cultural uh, centers Yes, in uh, St. Petersburg, Russia where I was born educated and uh, you know start dancing around three or four years old mm -hmm. I actually started a bit late uh, I started 11 okay 11 and graduated at 18 graduated from another school under uh, legendary ballerina Natalia Dudinskaya and uh, was fortunate enough to work with greatest choreographers like yes. Boris Eichmann 
uh, Dmitry Bryantsev, Alek Vinogradov, Roland Petit, uh, lots of different choreographers. What were your days like at the school, the Vaganova school, the training? What was a typical day like as a Basically, student? Basically, because I was living very um, far from uh, the theater, uh, sorry, from Vaganova school, um, uh, basically, I was spending all day, all day, since the morning. Yes. Uh, we was doing uh, classical ballet, historical uh, dance, character dance, and all school, like um, middle school yes. program. Yes, yes. Everything uh, in one And at the week. end of the day, you would travel back with your family yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, I was traveling back, like more than one hour each day. <laughs> wow. And how was the experience transferring into the, the company, the professional life at the Kirov Ballet? experience, let's say, all of the positive things was then you're dancing on stage. See, what are your three favorite ballets? To My dance? favorite ballet is Paquita. Yeah, Paquita. You know, because uh, I dance uh, in Paquita in Corte de Ballet and uh, Denis Solo, uh, I did in Malanova School. And uh, Paquita is one of the best classical ballet yes. numbers ever. Yes. Mm, of course, um, Swan Lake. Mm -hmm. Swan Lake. I did some part of ballet um, dances like a Swans, a Waltz, and uh, most of the solo in uh, Swan Lake I did character. And for people who don't know, what, what is the difference? What is character dance? What character is that mean? dance, uh, it's, um, it's basically a folk uh, dance, mm -hmm. like a Spanish. Italian tarantella dance, mazurka, um, Polish style, um, but it's staged uh, more like a classical, with classical ballet movements. Yes. Like Don Quixote, uh, you know, it's like a Spanish flavor. Yes. Raimonda, it's uh, Polish, yes. Polish flavor, you know. I asked Victoria to share with us some of her photos and memories from her years at the Kirov School. Konstantin Sergeyev, who I work with, he was director of Vaganova School then. Natalia Dudinska, my graduation teacher, legendary dancer. Uh, this is Nadezhda Fyodorova, my private, uh, private teacher. So she was teaching in Vaganova School for me. At Victoria Ballet Theater, you'll find the very best in Russian classical ballet training by Victoria herself trained in the Vaganova method. Her beautiful students will be performing later this month at Elvin Ailey Theater on October 29th. Special thanks to Victoria for allowing us to come in and interview her for this beautiful segment. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching the adventures of my ballerina and me.
We hope you enjoy these clips from our Nutcracker production. Come see us with Full Orchestra December 3rd in Staten Island, New York at St. John's University and the weekend of December 9th and 10th in New York City with Full Orchestra with our Ballet and Nutcracker Tea at Stuyvesant High School. Enjoy our finale! My name is Elizabeth Flores. I'm the Artistic Director of the New American Youth Ballet in New York City. New American Youth Ballet is an award-winning program. We were rated number one dance conservatory in the USA by Dance Teacher Magazine. My training and background include studying on full scholarship with the Bolshoi Ballet Academy, as well as studying opera and musical theater at the Juilliard School of Music. As a teacher, I was the Artistic Director of the Harkness Youth Ballet at the 92nd Street Y, the head of summer dance at Ballet Academy East, as well as conducting a program for the Dalton School of Ballet and Ballet History. The New American Youth Ballet School has had many performances with a live symphony orchestra. This sets us apart from all the rest, where we instill the joy and the love of the traditions of ballet at a young age and a full symphony orchestra. So what is the My Ballerina and Me curriculum? Our program is special because in addition to teaching caring and correct classical ballet technique, the parents are not left to the side. They too learn correct form and what to look for in their young dancers. So when they go home and practice together, the dancers can make the most progress and utilize the time to the fullest. And let me tell you, the music that we use for our classrooms will stay with you, teach you ballet vocabulary alongside with your child, and simply entertain you. This music was developed together with myself and Dr. Alan Turry of NYU, amazing musical therapist who understands how to write, compose music that will engage emotionally and from the inside really bring out the joy in dancing and learning with your child. So with this, we invite you to sample our program, and we can't wait to get started. I hope you've enjoyed learning about our program and all the possibilities it has. Hi! Welcome back to another episode of Camila's Corner. Today we're going to learn about the topic of being reliable. What does it mean? be reliable. Well, for instance, say you had a lesson that you really wanted to do and the teacher doesn't show up, or if you're going to have to play it with your best friend, except they don't show up either. How would you feel? I feel really sad and disappointed. I would definitely too. This is why people should show up and always be reliable. Otherwise, you can't count on them. I thought being reliable was only for grown-ups to do. 
Well, I think being reliable is important for any age, or anybody. Because you want people to count on you and show up. Oh, speaking of being reliable, my teacher hired me to be a librarian in class. I told her I would show up to help organize the books earlier. I better go. Bye. Bye. See you later. Welcome back to the adventures of my ballerina and me. It's your host, Elizabeth Flores. For today's blast from the past, we're going to take a look at some excerpts from Giselle with the world famous ballerina, Alicia Lanzo. Alicia Lanzo is a Cuban prima ballerina, asaluda and choreographer. Her company became the National Ballet de Cuba in 1955. She is the most famous for her portrayals of Giselle and ballet version of Carmen. From the age of 19, Alonzo was afflicted with an eye condition and became partially blind. Her partners always had to be in the exact place she expected them to be, and she used lights in different parts of the stage to guide herself. The two-act ballet Giselle is about a peasant girl with a weak heart, Giselle, and she dies of a broken heart after discovering her lover Albrecht is actually engaged to someone else. One of the famous scenes is the mad scene when she discovers this, and you'll see in a bit Alonzo's portrayal of the mad scene. In Act 2, the Willies, a group of supernatural women who dance men to death, summon Giselle from her grave. They target her lover for death, but Giselle's great love frees him. This here is when she finds out he's betrayed her.
what's on our next episode and what's all that talking about? Well, sitting next to me is my first ballet teacher, Karen Harriel, her daughter, Angie Harriel, and of course, next to me is my daughter, Camila Flores. And we had a great interview section that we'll be featuring. And we also have a fashion show coming up October 13th. And we can't wait to show you all the beautiful styles lined up and ready to go, provided by Sancha. We'll see you next time on the adventures of my ballerina and me. Bye. Oh, is that the conductor? Yes, that is the conductor. He's Maestro Alan Aurelia. You might see this interview on one of our next shows. Sounds great to me. Wishing to get in the studio, on the stage, or behind the camera with us? Well, you can. Just email New American Youth at yahoo.com to join the fun. Can't wait for you to dance with us. Tune in every other Sunday for more of the adventures of my ballerina and me. See you next time.